Demons of Witchcraft are tormenting my next guest. Curses released into the spiritual atmosphere. Friends, join me now as we set her free and it may set some of you free. Welcome to Prophetic Spiritual Warfare with Kathy DeGraw. In each episode, Kathy brings her passion and her gifts in strategic prophetic warfare to you so you can receive deliverance from what has blocked and bound you from experiencing your full destiny. So get ready to be set free and find peace and victory in your life. Kathy also wants to teach you and impart to you the same prophetic spiritual warfare ministry so you can use your gifts and skills to deliver others. Now, here's Kathy DeGraw. Hey friends, welcome back to my show. I'm going to do what I love, set the captives free. Deliverance ministry is a vital ministry that must come to the forefront. People can't walk in their full destiny and freedom unless those demons are expelled, curses are severed and broken, and then we can fulfill our God-given destiny. My next guest has been tormented by demons. I've seen her at my conferences over the years. We've never had this opportunity to sit down together. So this is raw, unscripted deliverance. You're going to learn how to take authority over the spiritual realm, how to break curses, how to set people free as we set our guests free. Welcome to the show, Lori. Thank you. Lori, you have been abundantly bound and it's been tormenting. Can you tell me what you feel is really plaguing you? Honestly, I don't really have anything that's plaguing me other than the demons that were sent through witchcraft. And at the beginning, I didn't know how to deal with it. I knew it was spiritual warfare, but I had no idea how to stand against it. Um, so I let it go on longer than it should have at the beginning without taking a stand. So I had to do a lot of research to understand how to stand against curses or demons. Um, what makes you think you have a witchcraft curse? How do you know you I have a witchcraft? I can hear the demons. I can hear in the spirit realm. I can hear the demons. They curse. They curse me physically now where it causes pain to my body and it causes differences in my skin, causes rashes on my face at times, it welts my skin up with the stink rash and bush burn is what they call it, that they afflict my skin with. My skin has been striated from the curses that they put on, they actually say the curses and put them on me. So they've been attacking my body, my flesh. Um, so you've been hearing demons in the spiritual realm release word curses, physical infirmities against your body. Yes. Now, have you ever received deliverance from this? No, no. All right. So I want to go back. So when these curses are tormenting, have you gone to the Holy Spirit and said, Holy Spirit, how do I get free? What do I do? I have asked, you know, if there's any wickedness in me, I do that on a regular basis because I want to be clean. I want to be cleansed. I want to be purified and restored. Um, I do ask if there's anything in me that I haven't done. The only thing that I've been told by a couple of prayer warriors is that the Lord has spoke to them and told them that I had DNA witchcraft in my generational background. So I've cleansed that. I've closed those doors from the Freemasonry, Eastern Star, those types of organizations that family members were involved in. So I have cleansed and closed those doors and I've asked the Lord, you know, is there anything else that has occurred or that I'm doing that I don't know about that I need to do to be free of this? I haven't heard anything from him. Okay. They have been taken to heaven, the courtroom of heaven. The Lord has told prayer warriors that there is no legal right and they must leave. They won't leave. They will not leave. Now, I don't know if that's because of me trying to talk to them at the beginning when this was all brought to me. And I was, there's more to it, but I don't want to go into it right now. When it was brought to me, there's more diabolical things that are going on that 
people really do need to know about, but I don't know if I should go into it at this okay. point in time. So let me let me just stop you. Do you have any sin in your life, any unforgiveness in your heart? No, I don't have any unforgiveness. Okay. I'm a sinner by nature. Right, so, we all you know, are. That's, right. that's a given, so okay. I go to the Lord. So you don't have any open doors no, not that, that know of. you are aware of. Right. All right. Now, you told me, I believe you've never sat down and had a no. deliverance session with somebody. So you've been trying to get delivered at the altar or having people pray for you or reading books, but you've never sat down and had like a renunciation, a repentance, you know, going through, I don't know if you ever heard of like the eight R's, if you've never had that or someone to say, you know, spirit of rejection, go spirit of anger, go spirit of hate, go. You've never had that general cleanup as a, I haven't had a general cleanup like that. No, I've had that. Freemasonry, you know, that whole right of that. Let, part let of me it. just ask you, okay? I, I just want to go here. There's no wrong or right answers, okay? You've known me for yeah. years. I've known you for a while. And uh, you know, I talk about how um, tongue talk and spirit filled Christians can have demons. So why wouldn't you ever like, go through a, a, a deliverance session or you know about deliverance, why wouldn't you try and, you know, say, well, I'm sure I've had rejection or offense and, and want those demons cast out or just to see, do you think you have a demon of offense or rejection or do you think those things don't exist in you? I, I don't know. I really, truly, honestly, I don't. Now, I have had a couple people, I've had someone that tried to do a deliverance on me where I just stiffened up. I mean, I literally stiffened up and wasn't even breathing. And she had to tell me to breathe. Um, and she had to ask me what was being said, what was happening. And that lasted for about two hours and there was no progress there. She did take him to the courtroom of heaven and she did get a dictate that there was no, no reason for it. They needed to leave. Um, and that was the end of that. So I walked away not delivered. Okay. Not to well, I'm going to be honest. I think one of the open doors is I do think you have some rejection in your life. Okay. I think you've been a person over the years as a child and, you know, has followed you that you've been rejected. I do think there's been, you know, some hurt and some offense in there in your life. I personally believe, you know, we all need to go through deliverance. We all need to have a point where, you know, I know I had control. I had pride. You know, I had fear. Uh, fear was a generational curse, but fear is also a demon. I mean, when you feel it grip you and, and pierce you inside, when you have a mind battle and a mind binding, a mind controlling demon that, you know, like puts this band and locks you down, uh, those are demons. And Lori, I'm just, you know, I'm just being honest because I want to see you free. I want to see my viewers free. And I think this is just a great, um, dialogue. And I thank you so much for being open and honest and sharing, because as I look at this, I think you haven't had the basic deliverance. And now we're trying to go and get this massive deliverance when we haven't even done the basics. And so because you haven't done the basics, there is a legal right there and there is some roots. And so whoever, you know, I don't want to say people are wrong, but the people that are saying there's nothing there, I'm thinking that's probably off a little bit because you haven't had what most Christians who are like you, you know, you hang around spirit-filled Christians, you know this stuff. I'm not telling you anything new, but I think this is a perfect example of how the ministry of deliverance must come to the forefront. Every Christian needs it. It is definitely the children's bread. Friends, come back. We're going to do some deliverance. Kathy DeGraw's passion is to help you receive your own deliverance and then train and equip you to minister that same deliverance to others. Go to KathyDeGrawMinistries.org to find her breakthrough books, e-courses, weekly podcasts, unique anointing oils, her intense discipleship platform, and more. You can also enroll in Kathy's membership and mentorship programs that are tailored to meet your specific needs. And don't forget to download your free declaration ebook at KathyDeGrawMinistries.org slash PSW. Hey friends, I want to welcome you back. And I am very honored today 
to welcome my friend, Apostle Chris Johnson, to the show. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Kathy. So happy to be here. I asked him to cut some shows with us, so make sure that you keep watching the It's Supernatural Network and YouTube, every place else that we're airing these shows so that you can learn from this anointed man of God. But today, we're really wanting to get Lori free. And I really fell in my spirit that I needed to do her show once my friend Chris came in. And so I'm going to allow him to use the gifts and the anointing that God gave to minister to our friend Lori and to you. Go ahead, Chris. So Lori, it's been so amazing to hear your story and hear the background of what's been going on. And just as observing and hearing you and Kathy talk before, you know, I just want to get to some basic foundational things because I believe that this day, first of all, has been marked out. This has been set for you. This is your day of freedom. And so I believe that one of the things we want to do is help you begin to be, receive some things. Because the first thing that I, I always listen very attentively in a, in a delivering session, and the first thing I want you to know is that you have to be able to know that receiving the Lord's love for you is the biggest thing you ever can encounter in your step of process of deliverance. Because most people, when they're being tormented, you don't have a reality of your identity in God because sometimes it could be questionable. You could be at a place of not knowing where you stand in life because everybody goes through process of life. But what I want you to begin to receive is that the Lord, how much he loves you. Because 1 John chapter 4 is the biggest identity chapter almost in the New Testament because of all the things we, we hear about what God does. 1 John chapter 4 around verse 18 says that there is now no fear in love. And it says, but his perfect love is once you receive it, there is now no torment. And that actually is a nice way of saying about receiving God's love increases our identity, who we are. And I want you to begin to receive your identity in God. Because no matter what you've been through in life, no matter what has happened growing up, no matter what has happened, what you don't even know that happened, the biggest thing I believe for you is that you have to embrace the fact that how much God loves you, and because he loves you, he says it really clear right there, it will involve no torment. That means what happened in your past, what happens now, what even happens future after today. The first thing is receiving. The key of receiving where there's no torment is the first know that God's love is bigger than anything that happened in life, and once we receive that, that first unlocks our destiny, which is our destiny, the love of God, that's our destiny. Because now our steps become ordered. And I believe that today starts a new ordering of your steps. Yeah. Today of your torment is going to cease because once you begin to embrace God's love for you, that's the first step. Now, the question I ask you, are you ready to do that? Yes. Are you ready? So I want to walk you through. It's very simple. I want you to begin to just take a moment, just begin to think in your mind. I want you to begin to think of all that. I want you to do it in 30 seconds. I want you to think about everything that's happened in that quick amount of clip, right? And then I want you to begin to say, no matter what of all those things you think about, God's love trumps all of those things. Every negative thing, even the good things, but even the place that you're in now that you're saying, I'm being tormented on all sides, his perfect love, once you receive that, do you know that's where demons tremble? Because it says that receiving his perfect love, it says it brings you no torment. And I believe that that's the first place of torment where it ceases. Because receiving God's love, you begin to now have a new mindset and you really begin to fulfill that scripture where you are a new creature. And today, I believe with everything in me, start your day to become brand new. Do you believe that? I do believe that. Okay, so I want to walk you through it. I want you to say it with me. Father God. Father God. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this day. This day has been marked out just for me. This day has been marked out just for I me. I thank you for this divine occurrence. I thank you for this divine occurrence. Now, Lord, I receive your perfect love. Now, Lord, I receive your perfect love. And, Lord, as I receive it. And, Lord, as I receive it. You said there's no more torment. You said there's no more torment. Now, Lord, I open myself up. Now, Lord, I open myself up. My mind. My mind. My emotions. My emotions. And my will. And my will. To receive. To receive. Your goodness. Your goodness. And my love. And my love. Now, is that easy? Is that easy? And the key is you have to believe that. You have to walk out of here today believing that his perfect love for you started before you were even conceived, before you was in your mother's womb, 
and his perfect love for you no matter what happened in life. And today that brought you here to Kathy's show, her studio, and all of these people, we're here for you to start that process. And today it starts. And I believe that this day you're going to see some things begin to cease. Because when you receive the perfect love, we see a lot of things about deliverance. But I'm going to tell you a certainty. Demons are scared and are fearful of the perfect love of God because they know it is love that makes us all here, sit here in the studio, because it's his love that he saw and foreknew we would be all of our days, according to Psalm 139, were written thereof. And this day for you is written. I believe today starts your torment. Now, as you receive that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one more prayer with you. I'm going to pray this prayer that anything that happens, torment in the night, dark dreams, imagery that when you're sleeping, any of those things that begin to uh, release torment to you, I'm believing that they're going to come to a ceasefire. I believe that for you. So, Lord, we thank you. I thank you for this amazing young lady. I thank you for her life. I thank you for her stands to come on here today and say, I'm going to come today and get free so the world can see what it looks like to receive the perfect love of God that starts the basic ground roots, grassroots, where I get no torment, no more torment. And I want you to go out of here today saying, no more torment is my portion. No more torment is my portion. And that starts your identity. Your new identity begins to start today too. So we probably should have had a bag of goodies for you today that just says, today's your brand new day. Because that's what's happening right now in this moment. The world and the audience gets to see a person coming into freedom. And it starts with receiving his perfected love. That means where you've been rejected, you don't have to be rejected no more. If a person rejected you, it doesn't matter because God's love trumps any person that didn't, do, didn't value you how you should. His love trumps anywhere that you say nobody put false limitations on you. If you went through life and you had false limitations and you thought you should do this, you thought you should strive for this, His perfect love trumps that because now you have no more false burdens. And so that all speaks about God resetting and restoring your identity today. Now, I believe that that's what's happening right now. I believe your identity is being restored in Christ. And I believe no more torment is going to be your portion. So rejection, worry, I believe it's going to be a thing in the past. I believe that for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the key is, do you believe that? I do believe that. Amen. 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 And I pray that even the audience, I pray that even the audience that's, that's on here, that they believe and come to a place where they receive the same thing. There may be somebody watching that doesn't feel the love of God and receive the perfect love of God, because when you do, there's no torment in that love. I pass it back to you, Kathy. Perfect love. Cast out fear. Friends, join us as we come back and continue to receive and release deliverance. Go online at kathydegrawministries.org and enter the coupon code FREEDOM for a special discount to get her brand new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace. Kathy speaks powerfully from firsthand experience after she yielded to the Holy Spirit and was totally freed from 40 years of fear and torment. Mind Battles will become your prophetic deliverance manual that will help you realize that Satan's battleground is your mind, release you from generational family curse Break off your mental strongholds and triggers. Overcome depression and fears and renew your thought patterns. Expose the enemy and counteract their attacks. Mentor you in yielding and being led by the Holy Spirit as you are used in deliverance ministry. Practice prophetic exercises to train you in waging strategic warfare. Win the day-to-day -day battles against the unseen evil forces that bombard us. Develop spiritual techniques to help you find peace and live in victory. Speak powerful warfare prayers and make breakthrough declarations that give you confidence and authority in your deliverance ministry. Become fearless and competent in spiritual warfare for yourself and for others. Go online to Kathy's webpage at kathydegrawministries.org to get her book, Mind Battles, and use the coupon code FREEDOM to receive your special discount. You can also order her Mind Battles cards based on her book to learn 14 critical things that free you from fear and move into freedom setting some basic foundation. I think what is often a misconception of deliverance ministry 
is it always has to be people falling around on the floor, foaming at the mouth, whatever, these big manifestations of demons and why that may occur sometimes. This is deliverance. We have to set the foundation and have it be deliverance. And Lori, what I want to challenge you and I want to challenge our viewers right now is, you know, a lot of spirit-filled Christians say, well, I have received the Father's love and in different things like that. But have we really? Because I think what Chris said is so very important. You know, his love is greater than that torment and that his perfect love. And we got to really internalize that. And so even though you're like, well, I'm saved, I'm a born again believer, I even want to ask you, because I do sense there's a little bit of resistance yet of, okay, where are we going? Is this deep enough? I'm not, you know, feeling like I usually feel, and I already know love. So Chris, take her to the next step. So we were basically just getting to a first receiving moment. If we were just label that we, we were getting you to believe and receive. Because now you begin to reset your identity because now you're saying, well, what does God say about me? What does he say? And so this is that step. And so we would call that in the scripture or what you've heard of calling re renouncing or severing. And all that is is coming out of agreement. You're coming out of agreement with whatever has been said or even inadvertently placed upon you. You're coming out of agreement with that. So if you felt rejected, you're coming out of agreement with that. And so... Now we understand the premise. Now let's walk you through that. I want you to just begin to just repeat after me. Father God. Father God. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this day. I receive what you said I am. I receive what you said I am. That I'm fearfully. That I'm fearfully. And wonderfully, and wonderfully made, made. In him. In him. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. I come out of rejection. I come out of rejection. I come out of the agreement of rejection. I come out of agreement of rejection. I sever. I sever. And cut. And cut. Every every place, every place that I felt rejected, that I felt rejected, that I may have dealt with fear, that I may have dealt with fear, anxiety, anxiety, worry, worry, fear of tomorrow, fear of tomorrow. I come out of agreement with that. I come out of agreement with in that. the name of Jesus. Jesus, I renounce fear. I renounce fear. I renounce worry. I renounce worry. I renounce where I've been rejected. I renounce where I've been rejected. I renounce even if I didn't feel like I was pretty. I renounce even if I didn't feel like I was pretty. I renounce love I didn't receive from parents. I renounce love I didn't receive from parents. Or any other person in my life. Or any other person in my life. I renounce resentment. I renounce resentment. I renounce bitterness. I, rena I renounce bitterness. I renounce anger. I renounce anger. I renounce anything that I may not thought of. I renounce anything I may not have thought of. Now, Lord, I come out of agreement with those things. Now, Lord, I come out of agreement and with I those things. And I receive now your perfect love. And I receive now your perfect love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, Holy Spirit. Now, Holy Spirit. Now, I'll ask you. I ask you. Now, shine the light. Shine the light. In me. In me. In every hiding place. In every hiding place. That demons. That demons. And unclean spirits. And unclean spirits. Were able to hide. Were able to hide. And possibly torment me. And possibly torment in me. In every area of my body. In every area of my body. Now, Holy Spirit. Now, Holy Spirit. Fill up those places. Fill up those places. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, it's that simple. Now, we're going to pray for you. Okay? Jesus. All right. Father God, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. We anoint this, this daughter of yours as me and Kathy partner together in the name of Jesus. We declare that in every demon and un every unclean spirit that yes. has been in her mind, in that has been wrestling, Jesus. causing her body, everything that is in there, tormenting Jesus. mind, emotions, yeah. her heart, yeah. in the name of in Jesus, the name anything Jesus. that has happened even in the in perimeters of our house, we declare that every demon that in came in through the way of rejection, Jesus. Every demon that came in through the way of fear, every demon that came in through the way of anxiety, we now command every demon and unclean spirit. We take authority over you and we command you to come up and out in the name of Jesus. We command you to come up and out in Jesus' name. And then With no restriction, Jesus, we command you now, loose your hold on this woman of God. In the name of, in the name of, the name of Jesus, we command get you to come up and out. Get out. Up and out, up and out. Get every out. body place, get out. body part that you're hiding, every get body part that you're hiding. Every demon, we command you, be Get loose out. from this body. Get out. Holy fire now begins to now. Get out. Holy fire, holy fire, right now, come out. Every, every area, 
Open in the your name eyes. of Jesus. Look at me. Get out in Jesus' name. I command you out in the name of Jesus. I think there's a part of you that's hanging on to this. I hope not. I really hope that. I not. think this has become your identity. Mm. And you don't know how to live without it. And you don't know how to let it go, Lori. And the, one of the words I got is shame, okay? This isn't a place of shame. This is a place of safety. I think you have been undervalued, underloved. I think you've been misunderstood and rejected. And I believe, I know, some of this is simply vain imaginations and false scenarios. But also, I think there's um, a part of you that has expected uh, the demons to talk. You've expected to, to hear them. And um, right. man, you're, you're not, you're, you're, it's like you're engaging with them. It's like, well, I'm expecting, it's become so um, natural or normal um and so you're like okay and that's where you got to have a mind shift that there's friends your friend drove you all the way up here you know um there's friends and i believe who the enemy binds a lot is going to be used in deliverance ministry a lot but um some of it is just stuff that we have to walk out 100 percent agreement and today's your day where it starts. So we're excited. It's the start of a new day for you. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you for this amazing young lady. Yeah. We thank you for her yeah. life. We thank you for even her trek and journey to yes. come here and allow us to partner yes. with you, Lord, to begin to help her and be one of your captives being set free. But this is your daughter, Lord. Yeah. And so we thank you for her life. And we declare that yes. today that we say that her mind is going to be shielded with the mind of Christ. We declare that the helmet of salvation is now going to wrap around her and it's going to shield her from even mind torment. It's going to shield her from all the things that the enemy would try and whisper in her ear. We shield her from that. And we ask you, Lord, let her receive this beyond today, that if she receives your perfect love after the day and day after day and the day after that, that God, the torment will be nullified. And I declare that this is her portion. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, Holy Spirit, fill up all those rooms. Yeah. Fill up all those places. Yeah. Fill up all those places that has been tormenting her. Fill her up until she overflows. In your precious, mighty name, amen. Amen. Friends, let your deliverance draw near by receiving the Father's love, the perfect love. When fear, torment come, say God's love is greater. His perfect love for me. It is a renewing of the mind. It's walking out and working out our deliverance.